having to work for technology usually doesn't work. So if I have to enter data that says, oh, I had a coffee at two o'clock, or data that says, oh, my room was set at 75 last night, I might do it for a week or so, but then I'm gonna stop. And the promise of AI is two things. Having the ability to be more personal to me is one, and the second one is that those dotted lines are gonna be connected automatically by AI. At Samsung, we, we have a vision to improve the health of billions of people. Mm -hmm. If you look at sleep, we don't see sleep as a thing you need to rest or simply what are the stages and, and so forth, but it is the window for our health. And when we more and more look into the data, we're amazed by what we don't know. We're amazed at the opportunity in front of us and the technology that can help us get there. Sleep health is the thread that connects, runs through our most significant health priorities. And similar to that, technology is a thread that really can run through all of the different interventions that we would seek to make to improve our sleep health. Um, being Sleep Awareness Week, I'd like to encourage people to do a sleep health checkup. Think about how you have been sleeping and some ways that, that you can improve that. My uh, takeaway for you is that if you don't want to sleep for you, do it for those around you because they'll appreciate it. <laughs>